Well, we're back uh, right here on the program and uh, moving on to our second interview segment that we have for you this evening. We have with us uh, Nadia Sagaf, and Nadia is the Deputy Managing Director of LOYAC. And uh, Nadia, we'd like to welcome you to our program. Thank you so much for having me. It's our pleasure for having you tonight right here on the program. I know you've all been very busy this uh, past week, mm -hmm. and uh, it's nice that you take some time off from your busy schedule to join us. And uh, now for our audience watching right here in the state of Kuwait or wherever they may be watching around the world who may not be familiar with LOYAC, can you tell us about LOYAC, what it stands for, and a little bit about your main goals and objectives, please? Of course. Uh, LOYAC uh, is a non-profit youth organization. Um, our mission states that we seek to provide the youth with unique opportunities to help them evolve into, into highly effective young leaders. Um, which means that we try to, our programs are designed to try to um, give the youth, any, the youth in Kuwait, uh, Kuwaiti, non-Kuwaiti, um, any kind of opportunity to help them hone the skills that they need to become, uh, to become leaders, uh, whether that be professionally or through talents that they may have or um, summer jobs or things like that. So we have several programs that that, that are designed specifically. You have a lot of successful programs and over these 10 years we've had uh, numerous guests uh, from mm -hmm. LOYAC uh, joining us and that leads me to my next question. Just this past week uh, LOYAC celebrated their 10 year anniversary uh, this past week and uh, first of all congratulations Thank you so on the much. 10 year anniversary and maybe you could share with our audience how was that event, uh, what took place and so forth. Um, it was uh, it was wonderful to finally celebrate our 10 year anniversary. Um, we uh, actually had it under the patronage of uh, the Prime Minister, and I think you can see that you see right the there, there yes. on on the screen. Um, it was wonderful that he was there and he stayed for the whole show. Uh, we had displayed a documentary about uh, the last 10 years of our work, um, all the programs that we had, the volunteer programs. Uh, our uh, Kenya program, Kuwait for Kenya, as you can see on the screen, uh, one of our volunteers with uh, uh, with um, some of the kids with special uh, needs with special needs, absolutely. And these are some of our, our um, uh, quite accomplished students who had gone to uh, our international programs abroad, um, international internship programs. Uh, this is a, a video from uh, Homes, our um, volunteer program that gets the youth uh, to fix. Um, you know, destroyed homes of, of uh, some uh, uh, families in need in mm -hmm. Lebanon and in Jordan. So it was really a wonderful, wonderful evening. We also had a show um, which, uh, which featured uh, some of our uh, dancers and actors from LAPA, the Loyak Academy of Performing Arts. Um, I think overall it was a really wonderful success. Uh, we had a lot of wonderful people join us in celebrating our 10 years. Uh, we also had live music, and you can see the instruments mm -hmm. on the stage that we couldn't <laughs> remove. <laughs> but uh, but no, it was this is our K4K program. Now you can see on. I on know the you're very keen on that project, correct? Yes. You've been involved that for many years. Yes, I I um, I founded it in 2005. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's been going on for now six seven years, and it's been very successful. I've been really really lucky to be a part of it. Um, I'm, I mean, I am very passionate about it because, uh, because I think I, I got, uh, there's a, a lot of other young people in Kuwait who got very passionate about it and went and also felt the same thing, which is like a life-changing experience. Uh, when you go to Kenya and you give back and you realize you're, you're getting more than you give, you know, you're learning a lot more. So, um, so it's, yeah, I, all of our programs are brilliant. It's not just that one. It's all yeah, of them are Yeah, you have great. numerous programs and... Uh, a lot of the youngsters pass through. They're now yeah. uh, young adults in the workforce. Uh, all the better for being part of LOYAC, uh, as we've met uh, quite a few of them when, yeah. when they were in U LOYAC and now yeah. out, of, out of LOYAC and into the workforce, uh, uh, fine uh, young citizens of the state of Kuwait. That's what, that's what was so great about celebrating 10 years, that after 10 years you've essentially graduated you know, um, a few generate like a full generation Correct, yeah. of loyakers. You know, of people who started off with loyak and had, um, you know, had done uh, programs through loyak and are now young professionals. And they they actually credit loyak for their success, which is wonderful. We had some of them actually come by and talk uh, on Wednesday, uh, the day that we celebrated the 10th anniversary, and it was brilliant. 
uh, Barry Lajuel was one of them. He's a very, very successful young man who was very much a part of, of Loyac throughout the 10 years. So we're very proud of, of everyone who takes part in Loyac. Very yeah, proud they've of all them. done uh, very well, and uh, I'm sure all the rest, the new uh, youngsters, will also continue to carry on success. What I've noticed, so. what's nice about Loyac, uh, once the, some of the, let's say, this generation, you said, have left, but yeah. they still come back and want yeah. to give back to the new uh, LOYAC uh, participants. Absolutely, they do. It's they always looks like it's a part of them. Yeah, like they've become a family. Mm -hmm. And so they grow. So even when, even when they, they're working, uh, they'll spend time giving back, being a mentor to the younger ones or taking care of a program uh, that we have, you know, either a volunteer program or, or becoming a part of, uh, so it's, it's really great, it's, it's LOYAC just becomes a part of you even when, even when you've outgrown the programs. Our programs run between the ages of six years old to 28, so we've got, but even when they pass that, they still want to be involved, which is so lovely, we're really lucky. And so many great accomplishments over the years, uh, yeah. numerous ones, but shed some light on some of the main ones that you've had over the 10 years. You talked a little bit about some of them, the activities, uh, uh, as we were taking a look at some of the clips right here of the actual celebration, but uh, tell us about some of the main accomplishments. Well, I think what's, what was uh, really a major accomplishment, we were really lucky to have uh, the board members of um, our Jordan and Beirut chapter uh, with us for the 10-year the anniversary of Loyak. It's 10 years in Kuwait, but we've also opened branches in in Jordan and in, Beir in Amman and in Beirut. Mm -hmm. so, um, so it's wonderful to have the board members uh, who are just as passionate uh, about Loyak um, uh, there come in and, and join us. I think that's a huge accomplishment that, that Loyak is spreading its model um, um, uh, you know, uh, throughout the Middle East, which is a, which is a goal of ours. Um, you know, our goal is to, to spread peace and prosperity among the youth of the Middle East. Okay. And so spreading our model is part of that goal. Yeah. Now, uh, Nadia, tell us about some future activities uh, coming up for LOYAC in the next uh, few months as we head towards uh, summertime and uh, before the holy month of Ramadan. Well, um, we are right now preparing for our summer program. Mm -hmm. So um, the, the, the application is open now. It's in, it's in process. Uh, so uh, everyone should come by and apply to the summer program. And when you say uh, come by and apply, where can they come? Oh, to our new location, which is uh, Al-Madris al qibliya the al qibliya school in Sharq. Um, the summer program is a great program. It gives uh, youth an opportunity to work during the summer. Instead of spending their summer doing absolutely nothing or just roaming around, they work as well as volunteer, and then they get very much involved with the activities that we have throughout the summer. They're really typically very fun activities. So that's one thing, that the summer program, which happens every year. We also have preparations for our new play. Uh, LAPA, the Loyak Academy of Performing Arts, uh, puts on a theatrical play every year. Um, and so we have Al Khaizaran coming up, mm -hmm. and we're still looking for, um, you know, for some talented, young, talented people to um, to show off their wonderful talents on our stage. So, um, so we hope uh, people get more involved with the arts and bringing back culture and musical theatre to Kuwait. Um, and uh, things are constantly happening at Loyag. So I suggest any youth out there. Who, uh, who are looking for a place to belong or looking for a place to excel and find themselves and find their talents. They should, they should definitely come by. There's always things happening every night at Loyak. So, um, and so I believe you have by. a website. Uh, we people do. can find out more information. Can you tell us about the website, what can be seen there and so forth? Yes, uh, our application is online. We have an online application process. Um, so it's www.loyak.org. Um, and uh, people can find the, um, the application online, as well as information about our programs and, uh, and our, uh, our activities. And, uh, but the best thing to do is come down and visit us. The and best again, it's, uh, the new location the is new where, location please? It's in Sharg. It's, uh, it's in the city, Kuwait City. It's a beautiful location, right opposite the Sif Palace uh, and right next to uh, the National Library. Uh, Al-Madris al qabliya which was the first uh, school for girls. Mm -hmm. Beautiful place. Um, so come down anytime. There's always a lovely uh, atmosphere to be in. And, uh, and morning and evening times? Morning and evening, yeah. We're working uh, from about 9.30 in the morning to about 9 at night. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> depending on the program. So we always have something going on, so people should definitely come by. Excellent. You as well. I hope you visit us. Excellent. It would be my pleasure <laughs> to uh, stop by and uh, say hello to everyone. And uh, coming towards the end of our interview, Nadia, this evening, any last comments or words for the audience watching Kuwait or wherever they may be watching around the world this evening? Yes, well, I mean, um, it, so we've done 10 years. I hope uh, the Kuwaiti uh, youth become even more involved than they already have in the next 10 years uh, and, uh, and just become more active. And uh, we're, we're all very proud of them. Uh, and, uh, and thank you very much for having me. For well, we're all very proud of uh, yourself and thank all the members of LOYAC. And congratulations on your 10-year uh, anniversary thank and so more prosperity in the future. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you so thank much you for so joining much us, uh, Nadia. You're the uh, Deputy Managing Director at LOYAC, and we wish all the members of LOYAC all the best of luck in their future endeavors. Right now